If you guys have seen my beard product reviews, you know I'm always preferring beard butter over beard balm. It just works better for my beard. You see a lot of companies not even offer a beard balm anymore. But today's company reached out to me and said, hey, we are best known for our beard balms. So we want you to give them a try and see what you think about them. Today, we are talking about a local company called Schmucked Up. Come check these guys out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you haven't yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel. Today, as I had mentioned, we are talking a local company called Schmucked Up. Their owner, Joe, reached out to me. They are based out of North Liberty. He said, hey, we are best known for our balms. That is our specialty. That is what people come to us for. I said, hey, man, just to let you know, I'm a beard butter guy, but I will definitely try your balms, and you can prove me wrong and let me see how these are. So guess what? He did. He proved me wrong. There is definitely still a market out there for balms. I know balms typically work for shorter beard guys, uh, not necessarily longer beard guys, but I was using this stuff. It was great conditioning wise, has an awesome hold, really kept those flyaways in and I enjoyed it in the scents are phenomenal. I got four different scents for you guys to touch on today. The first one here is his vanilla, mandarin and bourbon scent. Ingredients wise, you're looking at beeswax, shea butter, argan oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, fragrance oils. They do do a nice job of covering everything here on the back, where to find them, Instagram, I believe, Facebook, everywhere, and then schmuckedup.com. And like I said, they're based out of North Liberty, Iowa here. They do send you this handy, it's stuck to the top. They do hand you this handy dandy little pick to get through their balm. You don't need it though. Honestly, you don't need this at all. You can get through it very easily with just a fingertip. It's got a little bit of a hole to it there with that beeswax, makes it a little tough to get through. But what I noticed, getting this in beard, it's gonna emulsify super easily. Getting this in beard, it just conditioned the heck out of my beard and then gave it a nice kind of long lasting hold. But that beeswax didn't weigh my, down, my beard down at all. That's one thing I hate about balms is when it weighs down my beard. I didn't get that at all with this stuff. I was really, really impressed and the scents are amazing. I could, you know, put in just an unscented oil and then throw this balm in and my beard would just be smelling fantastic for hours. I would say scent wise, you're looking at good six, maybe six to seven hours scent wise, just from the balm alone. It is a great scent. I love the scents on these. Oh, and this one, this is that, that vanilla mandarin and bourbon. And you just get a nice hit of like a citrusy kind of bourbon there. Very nice. Really enjoyed that scent there from Schmucked Up out of North Liberty, Iowa. Very good scent. If you're looking for a balm, they also have oils. They've got oils to match the scents of the balms that you are getting. This one is his balsam and cedar scent. And his oils are on the thinner side. So it goes well if you use like a thinner oil, throw up that balm. Your beard's going to be nice, sealed up, protected away from the uh, the cold winter that we were having in here in Iowa. That was me and Joe's first conversation was the uh, the bad cold winters here. Oh, and the balsam and cedar is fantastic. You just get that nice kind of fur, woodsy kind of scent to it. Very nice scent there. Oil ingredient wise, if you're looking for that, you are looking at argan oil, golden jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, MCT and fragrance oil. Really nice blend there. Like I said, it's definitely on the uh, the lighter to thin side oil wise, but feels great in beard. And another thing, as I always say, his balms and oil scent wise match up perfectly. You're not getting any of this, the weird smell from the beeswax. It's just perfect balsam and cedar. Fantastic, man. He Joe absolutely kills it. Now I see why he is known for his balms. I Like I said, I am just not a balm guy, but this could turn me into a balm guy. I really enjoyed this stuff. I also have his campfire scent. And I like just the labels kind of just stay the same, but the names change. I really enjoy that. Very simple. It just looks good, looks sharp, clean. And the campfire one is just, it's campfire. You get like a woodsy, kind of like a sweet, I would almost say like a, a syrupy kind of smell. Not like a, a maple syrup, but like a soft mahogany 
kind of syrupy kind of smell coming in here. Maybe molasses. Molasses definitely kind of sounds like the scent I'm getting. Oh, it's nice though. I really enjoyed that campfire scent there. Perfect scent just for a nighttime woodsy sitting around a campfire. Maybe have a nice drink in your hand. Really enjoyed that scent from Joe at Schmucked Up. Last but not least, cedar and leather. You guys know I'm becoming a huge leather fan. Absolutely loved this one as well. Like I said, if you want any of these balms, they're 15 bucks. If you want an oil, 15 bucks. Joe does a great job of just keeping the prices simple for everybody. Oh, and this is, it's a nice fresh leather with that cedar coming in. Very nice, just a classic, classic scent. I mean, none of these scent profiles are too crazy. They're pretty simple profiles that I would say that vanilla, mandarin, and bourbon is a little more drastic of a, a scent complex change for you. So if you're looking for something like that, you can go with that. Or you can go with something simple like this with the cedar and leather. Just nice, easy, good for any beardsman, new uh, veteran beardsman. Just something simple that you can wear every single day with that cedar leather. If you guys want to go check out I'm going to say it, probably one of the best beer bombs that I've gotten to try in a long time. Go check out Schmucked Up out of North Liberty, Iowa. I will tag their Instagram, their website down below. Go check these guys out. Go see what the balm hype is on these guys. As always, peace out. I love you, and we'll see you guys next time.